Greetings and welcome to La Rinconada, a city perched high in the Peruvian Andes. In this series, we'll journey together to discover the unique aspects of this extraordinary place, a city that clings to life amidst the unforgiving embrace of the high Andes. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future expeditions. A special shout out to our new subscribers. Your support is deeply appreciated. Now let us begin our exploration of La Rinconada, a city unlike any other. Here, amidst the towering peaks of the Andes, we find ourselves in La Rinconada, a city that stands as a testament to human resilience. At over 5,100 meters above sea level, it holds the title for the highest permanent settlement in the world. The air here is thin, the temperatures frigid and the landscape harsh, yet life persists. This city, carved into the mountainside, is home to thousands of souls who have adapted to this challenging environment. Each day, they brave the thin air and freezing temperatures, their lives intricately intertwined with the mountain itself. The very ground beneath their feet holds the promise of gold, a resource that draws people from far and wide, fueling the city's heartbeat. It is a place where life is lived on the edge, where survival is an everyday triumph. But La Rinconada is more than just a testament to human endurance. It is a place of unique culture and tradition, shaped by the very environment that defines it. In the chapters to come, we'll delve deeper into the lives of its inhabitants, exploring their customs, their challenges, and their remarkable resilience in the face of adversity. The lifeblood of La Rinconada is gold, drawn by the promise of riches, people flock to this high-altitude city, seeking their fortune in the depths of the mountain. The gold mining operations here are a sight to behold, a blend of traditional methods and modern machinery, all operating in one of the most extreme environments on Earth. The miners work tirelessly, their efforts echoing through the thin air as they extract the precious ore from the heart of the mountain. The conditions are harsh, the work demanding, yet the allure of gold drives them onward. Many work in informal mines, their livelihoods precariously balanced on the hope of striking it rich. These mines are not for the faint of heart. The tunnels are often treacherous, the air thick with dust and the risk of accidents ever present. But for many, it is a risk worth taking, a chance to escape poverty and secure a better future. The extraction of gold comes at a cost. In La Rinconada, mercury plays a crucial role in the mining process used to separate the gold from the ore, but this readily available and inexpensive method carries a dark side. The use of mercury poses a significant threat to both the environment and the health of the miners. The toxic metal leaches into the soil and water, contaminating the delicate ecosystem of the high Andes. Its effects are felt throughout the food chain, accumulating in the bodies of animals and impacting the health of the local population. For the miners, exposure to mercury can lead to a range of health problems from skin irritation to neurological damage. Despite the known dangers, the use of mercury continues, a stark reminder of the difficult choices faced by those who rely on gold mining for their survival. Efforts are underway to introduce safer alternatives, but the transition is slow, and the shadow of mercury still looms over La Rinconada. Life in La Rinconada is a constant struggle against the elements. The city lacks basic sanitation services, a stark reality for its inhabitants. Waste disposal is a major challenge, and the streets are often littered with garbage. The lack of proper sewage systems poses significant health risks, particularly for children. Access to clean water is also limited. Residents rely on communal water sources, often having to carry heavy containers up steep mountain paths. The scarcity of water underscores the precarious nature of life in this high-altitude environment. Despite these hardships, the people of La Rinconada have developed remarkable resilience. They have learned to adapt to the challenges, finding innovative ways to cope with the lack of basic services. Community spirit is strong, with residents supporting each other in the face of adversity. Their determination to make a life for themselves, even in the most challenging of circumstances, is a testament to the human spirit. Despite the harsh conditions, the people of La Rinconada find ways to celebrate life. One of the most unique aspects of their culture is the celebration of ice festivals. These festivals held throughout the year are a vibrant expression of their traditions, a blend of ancient Andean beliefs and modern influences. During these festivals, the city comes alive with music, dance, and colorful costumes. 
Residents gather to celebrate their heritage, their resilience, and their connection to the mountains. The ice itself becomes a canvas for artistic expression, carved into intricate sculptures that adorn the city streets. These festivals are not merely a form of entertainment, they are a vital part of the social fabric of La Rinconada, strengthening community bonds and providing a much needed respite from the daily struggles. They are a testament to the enduring human spirit, a reminder that even in the most challenging of environments, joy and celebration can thrive. The high altitude environment of La Rinconada is home to a unique array of flora and fauna. Despite the extreme conditions, life finds a way to flourish, showcasing the remarkable adaptability of nature. Rare Andean plants cling to the rocky slopes, their vibrant colors a stark contrast to the barren landscape. These hardy plants have evolved to withstand the intense sunlight, thin air, and freezing temperatures, their roots anchoring them to the mountain slopes. Animals, too, have adapted to this challenging environment. Vicunas, relatives of the llama, graze on the sparse vegetation, their thick coats providing insulation against the cold. Andean condors, with their impressive wingspans, soar above the peaks, their keen eyesight scanning the landscape for prey. The biodiversity of this region is a testament to the resilience of life, a reminder that even in the most extreme environments, nature finds a way to thrive. Protecting this fragile ecosystem is crucial, ensuring that these unique species continue to inhabit the high Andes for generations to come. In La Rinconada, life operates differently. The city's economy is largely self-regulated, functioning without formal governance or financial institutions, Transactions are often conducted through barter, with goods and services exchanged directly. Trust plays a vital role in this informal system as does a strong sense of community. The absence of banks and formal credit systems has fostered a culture of self-reliance and mutual support. Residents rely on each other for loans, often based on verbal agreements and a shared understanding of community norms. This informal economy, while presenting challenges, also offers a degree of flexibility and resilience. It allows residents to adapt to changing circumstances, fostering a spirit of entrepreneurship and innovation. The unique economic system of La Rinconada reflects the city's isolation and the resourcefulness of its inhabitants. It is a testament to their ability to create order and stability in the face of adversity, a reminder that human ingenuity can thrive even in the absence of formal structures. Life in La Rinconada is governed by a unique set of customs and laws, shaped by the extreme environment and the city's isolation. These unwritten rules, often referred to as the law of ice, reflect the practical realities of survival in this high altitude environment. Respect for the mountain is paramount, recognizing the power of nature and the importance of living in harmony with the environment. Disputes are often settled through mediation, with community elders playing a crucial role in maintaining peace and order. The emphasis is on finding solutions that benefit the collective, recognizing that survival in this harsh environment depends on cooperation and mutual support. The law of ice also dictates a strong sense of shared responsibility. Residents look out for each other, offering assistance in times of need. This spirit of solidarity is essential in a place where the challenges of daily life can be overwhelming. These unwritten rules, passed down through generations, provide a framework for social order and stability ensuring that life in La Rinconada, despite its challenges, remains a testament to human resilience and adaptability. The architecture of La Rinconada is a testament to human ingenuity, a reflection of the need to adapt to one of the most extreme environments on Earth. Buildings cling to the mountainside, their designs dictated by the steep terrain and the harsh climatic conditions. The use of local materials such as stone and corrugated metal is prevalent, reflecting the need for practicality and durability. Homes are often small and densely packed, maximizing space and providing shelter from the biting wind and freezing temperatures. The lack of trees at this altitude necessitates innovative construction techniques, with buildings often reinforced to withstand the weight of snow and ice. The city's infrastructure, while basic, is a marvel of adaptation. Steep, winding paths serve as roads, connecting the various parts of the city. Water is channeled through a network of pipes, a testament to the ingenuity of the residents in overcoming the challenges of their environment. The unique architectural landscape of La Rinconada is a constant reminder of the human ability to adapt and innovate, to create order and functionality, even amidst the most challenging of circumstances. 
as our journey through La Rinconada comes to an end, we are left with a profound sense of awe and admiration for the people who call this extraordinary city home. They have carved out a life for themselves in one of the most challenging environments on earth, their resilience and determination a testament to the enduring human spirit. Despite the lack of basic services, the harsh climatic conditions and the ever-present dangers of mining, the people of La Rinconada find ways to thrive. Their community spirit is strong, their traditions vibrant, and their connection to the mountains unbreakable. Their stories are an inspiration, a reminder that even in the face of adversity, hope and ingenuity can prevail. La Rinconada stands as a beacon of human resilience, a testament to the power of adaptation and the enduring strength of the human spirit. It is a city that challenges our perceptions, reminding us of the diversity of human experience and the remarkable capacity of humankind to overcome even the most daunting of obstacles. Our exploration of La Rinconada has revealed a city unlike any other, a place where life exists on the very edge of human endurance. Here, amidst the towering peaks of the Andes, we have witnessed the remarkable resilience of humankind, the ability to adapt and thrive in the face of adversity. The people of La Rinconada, with their unique customs, their unwavering spirit, and their profound connection to the mountains, have left an indelible mark on our understanding of human potential. As we leave this extraordinary city behind, we carry with us a renewed appreciation for the diversity of life on Earth, the tenacity of the human spirit, and the importance of protecting our planet's fragile ecosystems. The story of La Rinconada is a testament to the enduring power of hope. A reminder that even in the most challenging of environments, life finds a way. We must remember the lessons learned here, carrying with us the spirit of La Rinconada as we navigate the challenges of our own world.